Are you the uh, three or four person? The jury returned a verdict following the six-day trial that was held in 5th District Court that ended Monday evening in the case of Julianne Budge, the driver charged in the death of two cyclists, both brothers that were participating in an annual race in Washington City on April 9th of 2022, along with their two sons that were trailing behind. The trial consisted of a series of witnesses, drug recognition experts, crash investigators, and data collected from the little black box of the SUV. They captured several different data points during the crash. Points that the state contested was evidence that proved that Budge fled the scene after striking the riders. And the expert testimony also proved that the crash was caused by impairment. The defense team put on their own set of experts that came to very different findings. That Budge didn't flee the scene, but was unable to stop when the vehicle lost power upon impact, which caused the brakes to fail, so the vehicle coasted another 1,100 feet from the point of impact. The defense also contended that Budge was not impaired at the time of the crash, and the toxicology report they said indicated that she was taking the medication as prescribed. In the end, prior to deliberations, the jury was given a special verdict form, and instead of the jury finding the defendant guilty of the two second-degree felony charges that were filed following the arrest, the jury found her guilty of two third-degree felony charges of homicide by automobile that included negligence DUI as well as one count of reckless driving and leaving her lane of travel. And the defendant was found not guilty of leaving the scene of an accident causing death. Sentencing is scheduled for March 6th, and until then, Budge remains in custody. This is Cody Blowers reporting for St. George News, your number one source for local news.